Now, in other news, though, man, I ain't get a chance to holler at you when I saw everything was going on with the Book of Hove up there in New York. I mean, how did you feel about that going on? And then uh, also all of this stuff about Aaliyah and everybody just being in love with Aaliyah. Well, the Book of Hove, I, I didn't get a chance to go there yet. I was up there, but I didn't get a chance to stop. But as y'all know, somehow, somehow, some way, strategically, Dame is in not in no pictures in the book of Hove. Are you serious? I ask anybody that went. Mm. Now is that just you know Jay? Yo, I don't mess with you, or is that some petty hope? Let, let me be politically correct because I'm on <laughs> BITV. Now is that uh, is that showing some emotion? that, you know, you feel a way about the person? Or is it uh, what in hip-hop they will call suckerness, or, you know, I want to say sucker-ish. Yeah. Because you are erasing someone from your history. Now, let me set this up just a little bit for those who don't know out there. Damon Dash is the co-founder of Rockefeller Records. Nobody wanted to sign Jay-Z. Right? He couldn't get a deal nowhere. Nobody didn't like how he rapped, this, that, and other. He go to Dame for help. And, and well, Clark can't go to Dame and say, yo, you should work with my man because Dame had original flavor. You should work with my man, Jay. Jay, get down with them. Boom. Tone Hooker come with the name Rockefeller. Jay and Dame put their street money together. They hustled in the street. They gained money to build Rockefeller records before it's Rockefeller. Right? So they threw bricks at the penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? You know, Henry and a couple of other people who went to jail, this, that, and the third. Fast forward, you know, somehow, some way, nobody else get arrested, but that's another story. Jay-Z and Dame came from street money to starting a label that nobody wanted to sign Jay-Z, so they created their own and turned around and got him famous to where he got a deal, they got a deal at Def Jam, right? So when you have people that did not believe in you and the one person that did believe in you and your career, and y'all fall out, and but I become big, but even though we fell out, but this is my day one, we started. When nobody else wanted to rock with me, this man said, I'll take that chance. And not only do I take the chance with you with the music, I take penitentiary chances with you. And then 30 years later, I become one of the biggest rappers of all times, thanks to him. Thanks to us, because right. you, you can't, you, you, right. no, it ain't no, just to him. No, it's no. to both of us. It's, 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 Jay brought something to the table also. You just said it. Hold on. He took penitentiary chances also. Right? Yeah. But this is the man, this is the man, Damon Dash, when nobody wanted to rock with me. Nobody. No label wanted to sign me. This is the man that took the chance. This is the man that came in the in the in the in the uh the corporate offices and when they was robbing us, he made sure we got what we were supposed to get. Fast forward to the future, the story so is over, and now they're telling the story of Jay-Z and no mention of Damon Dash. Now, is that, we know why they fell out. Now, do why we fell out supersede history? Or do you keep it real and you put a picture or two or here, there, there, even though you don't mind, but you telling the story of Jay-Z, how do you tell the story of ghetto mafia without wicked. I mean, I get it. I'm, I agree with you, one thousand percent. Um, but we just went through the same thing, kind of with uh, Michael Jordan and that last dance that Pippen and all them upset about. That that Jordan 
made, you know, he wrote the history the way he wanted the history to be wrote. He didn't give all the credit to nobody. It was because of number 23. It started with 23, and it ended with 23. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? People are going to write their own history. Now, if you say that he didn't even say nothing about the man at all, I can't defend that. If he, like you said, no picture, no a hey, honorable mention to my boy when we started together, or if he would have just said what you just said a minute ago right there and left it at that, you know, one paragraph, then I'm okay with that. But if you don't say nothing, that is dismissive. That would be something I would get out the car with Jay on. He would have to let me out. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it is wrong. I can't defend that. So you go to an outcast museum and there's no pictures of Dre. I would be pissed. And I would feel the same way if it was no pictures of Big in there either. You know, absolutely. like I said earlier, I'm inclusive. I'm not exclusive at all. I believe in including as many people as possible. So to see and to hear that there was a book of hope and no pictures of Dame Dash in there, that kind of disturbs me a little bit. Well, now has Dame uh, dropped his own? They ain't nobody, uh, Dame ain't did nothing about no book of Dame. <laughs> so he hadn't? I mean, no, I mean he ain't did no. nothing like that. Well, that's, what, but that's something he needs to do now. I would come back with the, with the, with the same with the book of Dame. setup, everything the same, and then tell the story the way the way it really went. And then let the, let the people ride off the hype of what Jay got. He that's documented what I would do. it. So what the hell happened? Because you was there during that time, Joe. And Dame just told it recently in that uh, idiots he did called the... Uh, I think it's called the Effort Podcast, that they broke up over Aaliyah, which I said in, like, when it happened. It was all over Aaliyah. Dame, Jay-Z, Jay-Z was dating Aaliyah mm -hmm. before Dame. Dame really only dated or went after Aaliyah because she was Aaliyah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? However, let me stick to the point. Jay-Z was dating it's Aaliyah, right? Yeah. And he, Jay probably really liked Aaliyah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't being shysty, grimy. You know, if you listen to the, the interview, he say, oh, she wasn't she wasn't Jay's girl. He was courting her. Mm. If if Wick is courting a woman and I'm seeing him taking her out, taking her on dates, getting her gifts and stuff, why am I gonna go and try to pursue her? If he if you know he's courting her, yeah. then you know that's dating, nigga. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if if you go and, and and Dame said one day they was at a party, I think he said July 28th or whatever it was, it was some party. So Dame said he comes downstairs and he looking at Jay like, yo, I just hit it. I just hit it. And he like Jay looking all sick, like. Now Jay wasn't the type of nigga to be like, yo, nigga. Yo, stop trying to hit on her. That's my chick. You know, play is, yo, know, do you. You know, but he ain't expecting Aaliyah to give in. But, you know, at a party, who knows what kind of shit they was on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. Well, with that being said, though, can you blame Jay-Z for saying, hey, man, I ain't dealing with you like that. You knew I was trying to be with that girl. Man. No, I mean, yeah, but, no, I mean, I, 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 don't blame blame I, don't, I don't blame I don't blame him for that particular part, but, but, but he did it again with, out man, of He did it again of, with Beyonce, too, though. I seen Dame try to hit on Beyonce, too. So I, after the Aaliyah shit, you took my girl. That was my girl, bro. That was good. I wasn't public because I ain't want anybody in my shit. Yeah. But that was his girl. And wait, like, I right, you broke our trust as a bond as brothers. And we did have a family thing going. You know I wanted her. That was my girl. I'm calling her. And you go and you you bang her. And then you come down and you glutton on it. And then you turn around. Now I got a new chick, Beyonce. And you trying to hit her too, bro. I seen Dave in on Beyonce. Myself, bro. Jay had a rule after that, after a certain time, that Dame couldn't even be around Beyonce. Mm. It was, it was a rule at Rockefeller. Dave couldn't even be around because the nigga, he was being foul, bro. So you think that justifies not erasing no. the man out of history, though? No, it, it, I'm not saying that, that. That's why I'm asking Well, that damn sure ain't going to bode well for me putting you in the history. I, you, know, well, you know what, Dodo? You know what, if, if 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 you can tell the story of what you did, you know, to you took my women and stuff, hmm. the... Uh, uh, I would have put all that in the book. Mm. If that's the story that 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 we both know to be true, yeah. if I'm Dame and Jay, yeah. we know this to be true. You can't outside just fuck your old lady. Then I'm not going to erase you out of history, but I'm going to give everybody all the history. Mm. Yeah, we made a label together. 
Yeah, we came up together, but this is why I don't fuck with this nigga. Because <laughs> yeah. this is the shit he did, that, that, that he does right there. Yeah. So after this paragraph here, don't ask me nothing else about it. <laughs> so we got all that out. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's no, how that, I would that's, that's how I would've played it. You know, I still think it's just fake not to not to, not to, you know, he be definitely need to still keep him in the history book. But as a human being, I understand why he did what he did. I mean, out of spite, it's like, okay, you want to spite me? I'm gonna jab you again. Right. Well, my spot would have been telling everybody. That would have been my spot. I you know, I made a, I would have said it like that. You know, I made a label with this lame ass nigga. Let me tell you what he did. Mm. Mm. That would have been. That would have been how I, I would have. So you enjoy so, going around telling the world that a nigga took your bitch. We're not going around. It's in the book. It's either it's it's, it's either or. The book's gonna go around. Well, correct. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just what it is. What he is. He like, yeah. you know, yo. If you, you got any questions, so I don't fuck with this nigga. This right. what he did, foul ass nigga. I right. get what he said. It's, but see, you know, when I see that, when see, you that's tell, why you a young nigga. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? And us old trees, we understand each other. This is the wisdom side of the table, nigga. But, and I appreciate the wisdom. That's why I run around with the OG, so I have to check y'all niggas so the young niggas will know that it's okay to check your elders every day. It makes here. Jay look bad not to have the man in there but now, at I all agree. without now, an explanation I, I agree with that, though. Now, I mean, we all know... It's like you can't say Ghetto Mafia without Nino and Wicked. Right. So you can't say Rockefeller without Jay Dame and Biggs. Correct. You saw. You nah, see what I'm saying? But he had pictures of Biggs in there. He didn't have Big in there. No, he yeah. had Big. He had Big in there. Yeah. But no, but Dame. Not, no, but we no talk about Biggie Smalls. We talking about Biggs, the co-owner of the. Uh, okay, like, got Kareem Big Bird. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Kareem's Big Bird. I mean, okay. I, I just feel like Jay Z was probably like, you know what, Dame, it still hurts. I think that's what that was. I think he would just let him know, hey man, I'm still pissed off about this and. uh I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jab you one more good time. Yeah, but it make, it, it make, it'll make it'll make uh, a Dame a martyr now. If you, you can you, that shit can reverse on you. Sometimes it's just best to say, look, this is why I don't fuck with this nigga right here. So in case of speculation, because people will start to make their own, you know, thought, uh, uh, draw their own conclusions from stuff. Be like, well, he ain't in there. He he hating. He the one did, and the story gets flipped.